Did you know that for every human on Earth, there are approximately 1.4 billion insects? Now that's a lot of six-legged friends. Welcome to the fascinating world of insects, where diversity and importance run rampant. This world is not just about bees buzzing or ants marching, it's about a whole spectrum of creatures, each playing their unique roles in the grand tapestry of life. Let's start with some fun facts. Did you know that insects were the first creatures to develop wings and take flight? That's right. Long before birds and bats, insects were ruling the skies. Imagine a time when dragonflies were the biggest things in the air. Each insect species has its own niche in the ecosystem. For instance, bees are known as nature's pollinators, helping plants to reproduce by transferring pollen from male to female parts of flowers. Without bees, many of our favorite fruits and vegetables may cease to exist. Then we have insects like the dung beetles, the unsung heroes of our ecosystems. These little critters help decompose waste and dead animals, effectively recycling nutrients back into the soil. Not the most glamorous job, but hey, someone's got to do it. Insects are found in nearly every habitat on Earth. They adapt to survive in the harshest environments, from the freezing cold of the Arctic tundra to the scorching heat of the Sahara Desert. And let's not forget about the incredible variety of insect appearances. Some insects are as tiny as a grain of rice, while others can be as large as a bird. Some insects boast vibrant colors and patterns, while others master the art of camouflage. In the world of insects, there's always something new to discover. And you know what? We've just scratched the surface. Insects are not just creepy crawlies. They're engineers, recyclers, pollinators, and so much more. Now how about we journey through the life of one specific insect? Ever wondered how a butterfly comes to be? So, imagine being born as a tiny egg on a leaf. Your life as a butterfly begins right here. Picture this, you're a teeny tiny butterfly egg, no bigger than a pinhead, resting on a leaf. Here, you're safe and sound, waiting for the right time to start your journey. And then, one fine day, you hatch out of your shell and voila! You're a caterpillar, also known as a larva. As a caterpillar, your number one job is to eat, eat and eat some more. You munch on leaves, gobbling up as much as you can, you're growing fast, and as you grow you shed your skin kind of like how a snake does. This happens several times, and we call this process molting. Now once you're big and strong, you're ready for the next big step in your life. It's time to take a long nap, but not just any nap. You find a cozy spot, hang upside down and start to spin a silk pad around yourself. This is called a chrysalis, or a pupa. And inside this protective casing, you're about to undergo a magical transformation, known as metamorphosis. This isn't just any ordinary nap. Inside your chrysalis you're changing from a caterpillar into a butterfly. You're growing wings, antennae, and a proboscis, which is a long straw-like tongue butterflies use to sip nectar from flowers. Finally after about two weeks, you're ready to emerge. You slowly push your way out of the chrysalis, and there you are, a beautiful butterfly. But wait, your wings are still wet and crumpled, you need to hang upside down so your wings can dry and expand. Once your wings are dry you're ready to take flight and explore the world. As a butterfly, you have two main jobs, to eat and to lay eggs. You flutter from flower to flower sipping sweet nectar and pollinating plants as you go. And when you find the perfect leaf, you lay your eggs, and the cycle begins all over again. Now isn't that a journey? From a tiny egg on a leaf to a caterpillar munching away, to a chrysalis where you transform, and finally to a butterfly fluttering around in the sky. This entire process from egg to butterfly is called the life cycle of a butterfly. Butterflies are not just beautiful creatures. They play a vital role in the ecosystem, pollinating plants, and serving as a food source for other animals. And they do all this while undergoing one of the most dramatic transformations in the animal kingdom. And just like that our tiny egg has transformed into a beautiful butterfly. Isn't nature amazing? Now let's take a trip to the rainforest, where we'll meet some of the most unique and colorful insects on the planet. The rainforest is a buzzing, humming and chirping symphony of life, with insects playing the starring roles. Among the leafy canopies and dense undergrowth we find an array of bugs that are as diverse as the forest itself. Take the lanternfly for instance. No, it doesn't light up like a lantern but its elongated nose might make you think it's telling tall tales. This bug uses its unique snout to pierce tree bark and feed on sap, a perfect adaptation for life in the trees. Then there's the Hercules beetle, a superhero of the insect world. This mighty bug can lift over 800 times its own weight. Imagine being able to lift a car over your head, now that's super strength. 
And let's not forget the rainbow-colored dragonflies darting about, putting on an aerial acrobatic show. With their iridescent wings and lightning-fast flight, these insects are a sight to behold. The rainforest is also home to the beautiful yet elusive blue morpho butterfly. With its vibrant blue wings, it's a splash of color in the green expanse. But don't be fooled, this beauty is a master of disguise. When its wings are closed, it blends perfectly with the bark of trees. These rainforest insects sure know how to stand out, don't they? But not all insects want to be seen. Some prefer to blend in with their surroundings. Welcome to the world of camouflage insects where the ability to hide is a superpower. Out in the wild, being seen can sometimes mean being eaten. That's why many insects have developed an incredible knack for blending in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage and it's one of nature's coolest tricks. Take the stick insect for example. It's a master of disguise, looking so much like a twig that you might accidentally pick it up when gathering firewood. Its long, slender body even sways back and forth, mimicking a twig blowing in the wind. Then there's the leaf insect, which takes the art of camouflage to a whole new level. With a body that mirrors the shape, color, and veins of a leaf, it can hide in plain sight among foliage, fooling even the most eagle-eyed predators. One of the most fascinating examples of camouflage, though, is the peppered moth. This creature is a living testament to evolution. It has two varieties, one light, one dark, that blend in with either light-colored trees or soot-darkened buildings. This adaptation has allowed the peppered moth to thrive in both rural and urban environments. Camouflage isn't just about survival though, it also helps insects sneak up on their prey. The praying mantis with its green body can hide among leaves, patiently waiting for an unsuspecting insect to pass by. These clever insects sure know how to hide in plain sight! Now, on to the thrilling part. Each insect has its own way of protecting itself and some can be quite dangerous. Take the Africanized honeybee for instance, they're known as killer bees because they attack in large numbers if their hive is threatened. Their venom isn't more potent than a regular honeybee, but the sheer number of stings can be lethal. Then we have the bullet ant, a tiny creature with a sting that's said to feel like a bullet wound. It's not called the world's most painful insect for nothing. Ever heard of the Deathstalker scorpion? It's one of the most dangerous scorpions on Earth. Its venom can cause heart problems, even proving fatal in rare cases. And let's not forget the Setsi fly, a tiny insect that's responsible for spreading the deadly sleeping sickness in Africa. Remember, it's always important to respect these tiny creatures and their space. Now that we've learned so much about insects, it's time for a fun quiz. Let's see how much you remember from our bug-tastic journey. Question 1. What is the first stage in the life cycle of a butterfly? Is it the caterpillar, the egg, or the butterfly stage? Question 2. Can you name an insect that uses camouflage to hide from predators? And lastly, question 3. Can you remember one of the most dangerous insects we discussed? Okay, time's up. The answers are, the first stage in the life cycle of a butterfly is the egg. An insect that uses camouflage is the stick insect. And one of the most dangerous insects we discussed is the mosquito. Well done everyone. Whether you answered all the questions correctly or not, you've shown great curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You're now a budding entomologist. Keep exploring and learning about the fascinating world of insects.